Hi, thanks for joining me for another unboxing. This time we're unboxing the Razer Keo Lite. I want to say Creo, I don't know why. It took me a long time to find one. The one time I found one, I didn't have enough money for it. And today I went down to an electronics store that had them. They had three left and two of them were open. This was the only one that was completely sealed. It has the seal intact. The box isn't torn open. It hasn't exploded. So let's get started. Now, the reason why I wanted to get this, this webcam is because it has a built-in ring light. Okay. It, now, it says streamer certified. It has OBS and XSplit logos on here, so... Excellent for streaming. Hey, come on, I want you to stay open. And let's see what we have here. Okay. We'll get this out. Oh! This isn't paper. This is... Well, Kind of like wax paper in a way but more durable say congratulations there's no turning back so i'll i'll read that in more detail later probably not in this video you guys probably don't want to know what it says if you do let me know and i'll do a, a video of me just reading that we have this the razor keo and it says on the back for gamers by gamers now I've only had one negative experience with a Razer product, and that's with a keyboard where the key, one of the keys just flat out died, and I tried to get it replaced, and they refused to replace it for some odd reason, even though it was under warranty. I, I, I think I was like 11 months into my, to my warranty, so I had one more month, and they didn't want to replace it. I tried to replace it myself, and it just, the whole keyboard died. And let's see what this is. Okay, this is, okay, so this is the basic operations manual. And of course the razor stickers, I'll probably put put one on my, my case that people keep calling Teletran 4 after the Transformers because I have three huge monitors up on there. I'll probably do a video of that eventually someday once I get a better desk. Okay, so this is the installation. We have the stickers. And here, oh, they, they continue the tradition with using braided cables and the USB has a cap on it. Nice. I can probably use that for like a flash drive or something later on. And here we have the webcam itself. It's got a screw for a tripod. That's nice. I don't know if you guys can uh, see that. And... It's fully adjustable here, so it's compact, and this part opens up. This is nice. Too bad that my monitors are too high, so I'm probably going to have to set it down like this on top of a speaker. So here we have the ring light. Now according to the documentation, the, the, the camera can do a resolution of uh, 760, what is it, 760? at 60 frames a second and 1080 at 30 frames. So I'm gonna try both of them out with my streams. Uh, recently, I streamed uh, a Rust video where one of my friends was trying to raid my trap base and it took her two hours to get in. So if you guys wanna watch that, that's gonna be up on my channel. Well, it's already up on my channel now as well. Um, don't mind the, the wolf thing, the base rig kind of screwed up the video for me. It knocked out my mic for some reason, so I'm debating if I if I will continue to use Face Rig or not, but I'm gonna use this webcam either way for other unboxing videos for the ring light, see how that turns out, see how I like it. I mean, ev everybody is saying that this is a great camera for streaming, so we'll see, since I decided I wanted to get back into streaming. And that's it. Got a nice little uh, styrofoam mold here, which I could probably see if I could use it as uh, soundproofing foam later on. But for now, this is the Razer Keo light. Not Creo, like I've been wanting to say. And let's go ahead and put this back in here. 
put this here. And the next video I the next video I record, the next unboxing, will all be done with this webcam. So hopefully you guys can give me some uh, good feedback and input. And like I said, if you guys want me to to read this note from Razor, just go ahead and put it down in the comments, and I'll I I read most of the comments. For some reason, YouTube doesn't notify me of comments anymore. But I go in there, I check them out, I read a few of them. And if there's enough interest in me to read that letter to you guys, I'll go ahead and read it for you. So, until next time, this is Sasuke saying thanks for watching. And as always, if you guys have any comments, constructive criticism, input, please put it down in the comments below. So... I can try to improve this and make this a little bit more enjoyable for you guys. Take care.